Monaco listen, French pronunciation, Naco, officially the Principality of Monaco French, Principauté de Monaco, is a sovereign city-state, country and micro-state on the French Riviera in Western Europe. France borders the country on three sides while the other side borders the Mediterranean Sea. Monaco is also located close to Italy, although it has no direct border. Monaco has an area of 2.020 square kilometers, 0.780 square miles, making it the second smallest country in the world after the Vatican. Its population was about 38,400 based on the last census of 2016. With 19,009 inhabitants per square kilometer, it is the most densely populated sovereign state in the world. Monaco has a land border of 5.47 kilometers, 3.40 miles, a coastline of 3.83 kilometers, 2.38 miles, and a width that varies between 1,700 and 349 meters, 1,859 and 382 yards. The highest point in the country is a narrow pathway named Chemin des Revoirs on the slopes of Mont Aigle, in the Les Revoirs ward, which is 161 metres 528 feet above sea level. Monaco's most populous courtier is Monte Carlo and the most populous ward is Larvato, Bas Moulins. Through land reclamation, Monaco's land mass has expanded by 20%. In 2005, it had an area of only 1.974 square kilometers, 0.762 square miles. Monaco is known as a playground for the rich and famous due to its tax laws. In 2014, it was noted about 30% of the population was made up of millionaires. Monaco is a principality governed under a form of constitutional monarchy with Prince Albert II as head of state. Although Prince Albert II is a constitutional monarch, he wields immense political power. The House of Grimaldi have ruled Monaco, with brief interruptions, since 1297. The official language is French, but Monegasque, Italian, and English are widely spoken and understood. The state's sovereignty was officially recognized by the Franco-Monegasque Treaty of 1861, with Monaco becoming a full United Nations voting member in 1993. Despite Monaco's independence and separate foreign policy, its defense is the responsibility of France. However, Monaco does maintain two small military units. Economic development was spurred in the late 19th century with the opening of the country's first casino, Monte Carlo, and a railway connection to Paris. Since then, Monaco's mild climate, scenery, and gambling facilities have contributed to the principality's status as a tourist destination and recreation center for the rich. In more recent years, Monaco has become a major banking center and has sought to diversify its economy into the services sector and small, high-value-added, non-polluting industries. The state has no income tax, low business taxes, and is well known for being a tax haven. It is also the host of the annual street circuit motor race Monaco Grand Prix, one of the original Grand Prix of Formula One. The Principality has a club football team, as Monaco, who have become French champions on multiple occasions. Monaco is not formally a part of the European Union EU, but it participates in certain EU policies, including customs and border controls. Through its relationship with France, Monaco uses the euro as its sole currency prior to this it used the Monégasque franc. Monaco joined the Council of Europe in 2004. It is a member of the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie OIF. Topic: History. Monaco's name comes from the nearby 6th century BC Phocian Greek colony, referred to by the Ligurians as Monoikos from the Greek Monoikos, single house, from Monos, Monos alone, single, plus, oikos, oikos, house, which bears the sense of a people either settled in a single habitation, or of living apart, from others. According to an ancient myth, Hercules passed through the Monaco area and turned away the previous gods. As a result, a temple was constructed there, the Temple of Hercules Monoikos. Because the only temple of this area was the house. Of Hercules, the city was called Monoikos. It ended up in the hands of the Holy Roman Empire, which gave it to the Genoese. An ousted branch of a Genoese family, the Grimaldi, contested it for a hundred years before actually gaining control. 
Though the Republic of Genoa would last until the 19th century, they allowed the Grimaldi family to keep Monaco, and, likewise, both France and Spain left it alone for hundreds of years. France did not annex it until the French Revolution, but after the defeat of Napoleon it was put under the care of the Kingdom of Sardinia. In the 19th century, when Sardinia became a part of Italy, the region came under French influence again but France allowed it to remain independent. Like France, Monaco was overrun by the Axis powers during the Second World War and for a short time was administered by Italy, then the Third Reich, before finally being liberated. Although the occupation lasted for just a short time, it meant the deportation of the Jewish population and execution of several resistance members from Monaco. Since then Monaco has been independent. It has taken some steps towards integration with the European Union. <laughs> <laughs> Arrival of the Grimaldi family Following a land grant from Emperor Henry VI in 1191, Monaco was refounded in 1215 as a colony of Genoa. Monaco was first ruled by a member of the House of Grimaldi in 1297, when Francis Grimaldi, known as Il Milizia, translated from Italian either as the malicious one or the cunning one, and his men captured the fortress protecting the Rock of Monaco while dressed as Franciscan monks. A Monaco in Italian, although this is a coincidence as the area was already known by this name. Francis, however, was evicted only a few years afterwards by the Genoese forces, and the struggle over the rock continued for another century. The Grimaldi family was Genoese and the struggle was something of a family feud. However, the Genoese became engaged in other conflicts, and in the late 1300s Genoa became involved in a conflict with the Crown of Aragon over Corsica. The Crown of Aragon eventually became a part of Spain through marriage see modern-day Aragon and other parts drifted into various pieces of other kingdoms and nations. Topic 1400 to 1800 In 1419, the Grimaldi family purchased Monaco from the Crown of Aragon and became the official and undisputed rulers of the Rock of Monaco. In 1612 Honoré II began to style himself «Prince» of Monaco. In the 1630s, he sought French protection against the Spanish forces and, in 1642, was received at the court of Louis XIII, «Duc et père étranger». The princes of Monaco thus became vassals of the French kings while at the same time remaining sovereign princes. Though successive princes and their families spent most of their lives in Paris, and intermarried with French and Italian nobilities, the House of Grimaldi is Italian. The Principality continued its existence as a protectorate of France until the French Revolution. In 1793, revolutionary forces captured Monaco and it remained under direct French control until 1814, when the Grimaldi family returned to the throne. Topic. 19th century Between 1793 and 1814 Monaco was occupied by the French in this period much of Europe had been overrun by the French under command of Napoleon. The principality was re-established in 1814 only to be designated a protectorate of the Kingdom of Sardinia by the Congress of Vienna in 1815. Monaco remained in this position until 1860 when, by the Treaty of Turin, the Sardinian forces pulled out of the Principality and the surrounding county of Nice as well as Savoy was ceded to France. Monaco became a French protectorate once again. Before this time there was unrest in Menton and Requebrun, where the townspeople had become weary of heavy taxation by the Grimaldi family. They declared their independence, hoping for annexation by Sardinia. France protested. The unrest continued until Charles III gave up his claim to the two mainland towns some 95% of the principality at the time that had been ruled by the Grimaldi family for over 500 years. These were ceded to France in return for 4,100,000 francs. The transfer and Monaco's sovereignty were recognized by the Franco-Monegasque Treaty of 1861. In 1869, the principality stopped collecting income tax from its residents, an indulgence the Grimaldi family could afford to entertain thanks solely to the extraordinary success of the casino. This made Monaco not only a playground for the rich, but a favoured place for them to live. <laughs> 20th century 
Until the Monegasque Revolution of 1910 forced the adoption of the 1911 Constitution, the princes of Monaco were absolute rulers. The new constitution, however, barely reduced the autocratic rule of the Grimaldi family and Prince Albert I soon suspended it during the First World War. In July 1918, the Franco-Monegasque Treaty was signed, providing for limited French protection over Monaco. The treaty, endorsed in 1919 by the Treaty of Versailles, established that Monegasque international policy would be aligned with French political, military, and economic interests, and resolved the Monaco succession crisis. In 1943, the Italian army invaded and occupied Monaco, forming a fascist administration. Shortly thereafter, following the collapse of Mussolini, the German Wehrmacht occupied Monaco and the Nazi deportation of the Jewish population began. René Blum, the prominent French Jew who founded the Ballet de l'Opera in Monte Carlo, was arrested in his Paris home and held in the Drancy deportation camp outside the French capital before being transported to the Auschwitz concentration camp, where he was later killed. Blum's colleague Raoul Gunsberg, the director of the Opera de Monte Carlo, helped by the French resistance, escaped arrest and fled to Switzerland. In August 1944, the Germans executed René Borghini, Joseph-Henri Lejeune and Esther Poggio, who were resistance leaders. Rainier III, who ruled until 2005, succeeded to the throne following the death of his grandfather, Prince Louis II, in 1949. On 19 April 1956, Prince Rainier married the American actress Grace Kelly. The event was widely televised and covered in the popular press, focusing the world's attention on the tiny principality. A 1962 amendment to the Constitution abolished capital punishment, provided for women's suffrage, and established a Supreme Court of Monaco to guarantee fundamental liberties. In 1963, a crisis developed when Charles de Gaulle blockaded Monaco, angered by its status as a tax haven for wealthy French. The 2014 film Grace of Monaco is loosely based on this crisis. In 1993, the Principality of Monaco became a member of the United Nations, with full voting rights. Topic: 21st century. In 2002, a new treaty between France and Monaco specified that, should there be no heirs to carry on the Grimaldi dynasty, the principality would still remain an independent nation rather than revert to France. Monaco's military defense, however, is still the responsibility of France. On the 31st of March 2005, Rainier III, who was too ill to exercise his duties, relinquished them to his only son and heir, Albert. He died six days later, after a reign of 56 years, with his son succeeding him as Albert II, Sovereign Prince of Monaco. Following a period of official mourning, Prince Albert II formally assumed the princely crown on 12 July 2005, in a celebration that began with a solemn mass at St. Nicholas Cathedral, where his father had been buried three months earlier. His accession to the Monegasque throne was a two-step event with a further ceremony, drawing heads of state for an elaborate reception, held on 18 November 2005, at the historic Prince's Palace in Monaco-ville. On 27 August 2015, Albert II apologized for Monaco's role during World War II in facilitating the deportation of a total of 90 Jews and resistance fighters, of whom only nine survived. We committed the irreparable in handing over to the neighboring authorities women, men and a child who had taken refuge with us to escape the persecutions they had suffered in France," Albert said at a ceremony in which a monument to the victims was unveiled at the Monaco Cemetery. In distress, they came specifically to take shelter with us, thinking they would find neutrality. In 2015, Monaco unanimously approved a modest land reclamation expansion intended primarily for some desperately needed housing and a small green, park area. Monaco had previously considered an expansion in 2008, but called it off. The plan is for about 6 hectares of apartment buildings, parks, shops and offices for about 1 billion euros for the land. The development will be adjacent to the Larvado district and also will include a small marina. There were four main proposals, and the final mix of use will be finalized as the development progresses. The name for the new district is Ans du Portier. Government Monaco has been governed under a constitutional monarchy since 1911, with the sovereign prince of Monaco as head of state. 
The executive branch consists of a Minister of State as the head of government, who presides over a five-member council of government. Until 2002, the Minister of State was a French citizen appointed by the Prince from among candidates proposed by the French government. Since a constitutional amendment in 2002, the Minister of State can be French or Monégasque. However, Prince Albert II appointed, on 3 March 2010, the Frenchman Michel Roger as Minister of State. Under the 1962 constitution, the Prince shares his veto power with the unicameral National Council. The 24 members of the National Council are elected for five-year terms, 16 are chosen through a majority electoral system and 8 by proportional representation. All legislation requires the approval of the National Council, which is currently dominated by the Conservative Rally and Issues for Monaco Rem party which holds 20 seats. Union Monégasque holds three seats while Renaissance holds one seat. The Principality's city affairs are directed by the Communal Council, which consists of 14 elected members and is presided over by a mayor. Unlike the National Council, councillors are elected for four-year terms, and are strictly non-partisan, however, oppositions inside the council frequently form. <laughs> <laughs> Administrative divisions Monaco is the second smallest country by area in the world, only Vatican City is smaller. Monaco is also the world's second smallest monarchy, and is the most densely populated country in the world. The state consists of only one municipality commune, the municipality of Monaco. There is no geographical distinction between the state and city of Monaco, although responsibilities of the government state level and of the municipality city level are different. According to the Constitution of 1911, the Principality was subdivided into three municipalities Monaco Ville, the old city on a rocky promontory extending into the Mediterranean, known as the Rock of Monaco, or simply, the Rock. Monte Carlo, the principal residential and resort area with the Monte Carlo Casino in the east and northeast. La Condamine, the southwestern section including the port area, Port Hercules, the municipalities were merged into one in 1917, after accusations that the government was acting according to the motto, Divide and Conquer, and they were accorded the status of wards or courtiers thereafter. Fontvieille was added as a fourth ward, a newly constructed area claimed from the sea in the 1970s. Monaghetti became the fifth ward, created from part of La Condamine. Larvado became the sixth ward, created from part of Monte Carlo. La Rouse, Saint Roman, including La Tenau, became the seventh ward, also created from part of Monte Carlo. Subsequently, three additional wards were created: Saint Michel, created from part of Monte Carlo; La Col, created from part of La Condamine; Les Revoirs, also created from part of La Condamine. An additional ward was planned by New Land Reclamation to be settled beginning in 2014, but Prince Albert II announced in his 2009 New Year speech that he had ended plans due to the current economic climate. However, Prince Albert II in mid 2010 firmly restarted the program. In 2015, a new development called Anse du Portier was announced. Topic. Traditional quarters and modern geographic areas The four traditional quartiers of Monaco are Monaco Ville, La Condamine, Monte Carlo and Fontvieille. However, the suburb of Monaghetti, the high-level part of La Condamine, is generally seen today as an effective fifth quartier of the Monaco, having a very distinct atmosphere and topography when compared with La Level La Condamine. Topic. Wards Currently Monaco is subdivided into ten wards, with their official numbers, either Fontvieille II or Le Portier would become the effective eleventh ward, if built. Note, for statistical purposes, the wards of Monaco are further subdivided into 178 city blocks ilots, which are comparable to the census blocks in the United States. Other possible expansions are Le Portier, a project relaunched in 2012. Another possibility was Fontvieille 2 development to commence in 2013. Topic: <inaudible> Security. The wider defense of the nation is provided by France. 
Monaco has no navy or air force, but on both a per capita and per area basis, Monaco has one of the largest police forces 515 police officers for about 36,000 people and police presences in the world. Its police includes a special unit which operates patrol and surveillance boats, there is also a small military force. This consists of a bodyguard unit for the prince and the palace in Monacoville called the Compagnie des Carabiniers du Prince Prince's Company of Carabiniers, which is equipped with weapons such as M16A2 rifles and 9mm pistols Glock 17, and which together with the militarized, armed fire and civil defense corps Sapers Pompiers, forms Monaco's total public forces. The Compagnie des Carabiniers du Prince was created by Prince Honoré IV in 1817 for the protection of the Principality and the Princely family. The company numbers exactly 116 officers and men, while the NCOs and soldiers are local, the officers have generally served in the French army. In addition to their guard duties as described, the Carabiniers patrol the Principality's beaches and coastal waters. Geography Monaco is a sovereign city-state, with five courtiers and ten wards, located on the French Riviera in Western Europe. It is bordered by France's Alpes Maritimes département on three sides, with one side bordering the Mediterranean Sea. Its centre is about 16 kilometres from Italy and only 13 kilometres northeast of Nice, France. It has an area of 2.02 square kilometers, 0.78 square miles, or 202 hectares, 500 acres, and a population of 38,400, making Monaco the second smallest and the most densely populated country in the world. The country has a land border of only 5.47 kilometers, 3.40 miles, a coastline of 3.83 kilometers, 2.38 miles, a maritime claim that extends 22.2 kilometers, 13.8 miles, and a width that varies between 1700 and 349 meters, 5577 and 1145 feet. The highest point in the country is at the access to the Patio Palace residential building on the Kemen de Revoirs, Ward Les Revoirs, from the D6007 Moyenne Cornish Street at 164.4 meters, 539 feet above sea level. The lowest point in the country is the Mediterranean Sea. Saint Jean is the longest flowing body of water, around 0.19 kilometers, 190 meters, 0.12 miles, 620 feet in length, and Fontvieille is the largest lake, approximately 0.5 hectares, 5000.00 square meters, 1.24 acres, 53819.55 square feet in area. Monaco's most populated courtier is Monte Carlo, and the most populated ward is Larvato, Ba Moulins. After a recent expansion of Port Hercules, Monaco's total area grew to 2.02 square kilometers, 0.78 square miles, or 202 hectares, 500 acres. Consequently, new plans have been approved to extend the district of Fontvieille by 0.08 square kilometers, 0.031 square miles, or 8 hectares, 20 acres, with land reclaimed from the Mediterranean Sea. Current land reclamation projects include extending the district of Fontvieille. There are two ports in Monaco, Port Hercules and Port Fontvieille. Monaco's only natural resource is fishing, with almost the entire country being an urban area. Monaco lacks any sort of commercial agriculture industry. There is a neighboring French port called Cap Del that is near Monaco. Topic: Architecture Monaco exhibits a wide range of architecture, but the Principality's signature style, particularly in Monte Carlo, is that of the Belle Epoque. It finds its most florid expression in the 1878–9 Casino and the Salle Garnier created by Charles Garnier and Jules Dutro. Decorative elements including turrets, balconies, pinnacles, multi-colored ceramics and caryatids and borrowed and blended to create a picturesque fantasy of pleasure and luxury, and an alluring expression of how Monaco sought, and still seeks, to portray itself. This capriccio of French, Italian and Spanish elements was incorporated into hacienda villas and apartments. Following major development in the 1970s, Prince Rainier III banned high-rise development in the Principality. However, his successor, Prince Albert II, overturned this sovereign order. 
In recent years the accelerating demolition of Monaco's architectural heritage, including its single-family villas, has created dismay. The Principality currently has no heritage protection legislation. Climate Monaco has a hot summer Mediterranean climate Köppen climate classification, CSA, which is influenced by oceanic climate and humid subtropical climate. As a result, it has warm, dry summers and mild, rainy winters. Cool and rainy interludes can interrupt the dry summer season, the average length of which is also shorter. Summer afternoons are infrequently hot indeed, temperatures greater than 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit are rare as the atmosphere is temperate because of constant sea breezes. On the other hand, the nights are very mild, due to the fairly high temperature of the sea in summer. Generally, temperatures do not drop below 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit in this season. In the winter, frosts and snowfalls are extremely rare and generally occur once or twice every 10 years. On February 27, 2018, both Monaco and Monte Carlo experienced snowfall. Topic economy Monaco has the world's second highest GDP nominal per capita at $153,177, GDP PPP per capita at $132,571 and GNI per capita at $183,150. It also has an unemployment rate of 2%, with over 48,000 workers who commute from France and Italy each day. According to the CIA World Factbook, Monaco has the world's lowest poverty rate and the highest number of millionaires and billionaires per capita in the world. For the fourth year in a row, Monaco in 2012 had the world's most expensive real estate market, at $58,300 per square meter. One of Monaco's main sources of income is tourism. Each year many foreigners are attracted to its casino and pleasant climate. It has also become a major banking center, holding over 100 billion euros worth of funds. Banks in Monaco specialize in providing private banking, asset and wealth management services. The principality has successfully sought to diversify its economic base into services and small, high value added, non polluting industries, such as cosmetics and biothermics. The state retains monopolies in numerous sectors, including tobacco and the postal service. The telephone network Monaco Telecom used to be fully owned by the state, it now owns only 45%, while the remaining 55% is owned by both cable and wireless communications 49%, and company Monégasque de Bank 6%. It is still, however, a monopoly. Living standards are high, roughly comparable to those in prosperous French metropolitan areas. Monaco is not a member of the European Union. However, it is very closely linked via a customs union with France and, as such, its currency is the same as that of France, the euro. Before 2002, Monaco minted its own coins, the Monégasque franc. Monaco has acquired the right to mint euro coins with Monégasque designs on its national side. Topic gambling industry The plan for casino gambling was drafted during the reign of Floristan I in 1846. Under Louis Philippe's petit bourgeois regime, however, a dignitary such as the Prince of Monaco was not allowed to operate a gambling house. All this changed in the dissolute Second French Empire under Napoleon III. The House of Grimaldi was in dire need of money. The towns of Menton and Requebrun, which had been the main sources of income for the Grimaldi family for centuries, were now accustomed to a much improved standard of living and lenient taxation thanks to Sardinian intervention and clamoured for financial and political concession, even for separation. The Grimaldi family hoped the newly legal industry would help alleviate the difficulties they faced, above all the crushing debt the family had incurred, but Monaco's first casino would not be ready to operate until after Charles III assumed the throne in 1856. The grantee of the princely concession license was unable to attract enough business to sustain the operation and, after relocating the casino several times, sold the concession to French casino magnates François and Louis Blanc for 1.7 million francs. 
The Blancs had already set up a highly successful casino in fact the largest in Europe in Bad Homburg in the Grand Duchy of Hesse Homburg, a small German principality comparable to Monaco, and quickly petitioned Charles III to rename a depressed seaside area known as Les Spilegiers Den of Thieves to Monte Carlo Mount Charles. They then constructed their casino in the newly dubbed Monte Carlo and cleared out the area's less than savory elements to make the neighborhood surrounding the establishment more conducive to tourism. The Blancs opened Le Grand Casino de Monte Carlo in 1858 and the casino benefited from the tourist traffic the newly built French railway system created. Due to the combination of the casino and the railroads, Monaco finally recovered from the previous half-century of economic slump and the principality's success attracted other businesses. In the years following the casino's opening, Monaco founded its Oceanographic Museum and the Monte Carlo Opera House. Forty six hotels were built, and the number of jewelers operating in Monaco increased by nearly fivefold. In an apparent effort to not overtax citizens, it was decreed that the Monegasque citizens were prohibited from entering the casino unless they were employees. By 1869, the casino was making such a vast sum of money that the principality could afford to end tax collection from the Monegasques, a masterstroke that was to attract affluent residents from all over Europe in a policy that still exists today. Today, Société des Bains de Mer de Monaco, which owns Le Grand Casino, still operates in the original building that the Blancs constructed and has since been joined by several other casinos, including the Le Casino Café de Paris, the Monte Carlo Sporting Club and Casino and the Sun Casino. The most recent addition in Monte Carlo is the Monte Carlo Bay Casino, which sits on four hectares of the Mediterranean Sea and, among other things, offers 145 slot machines, all equipped with Ticket In, Ticket Out Tito. It is the first Mediterranean casino to use this technology. Taxes <laughs> 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 Monaco has high social insurance taxes, payable by both employers and employees. The employers' contributions are between 28% and 40% averaging 35% of gross salary, including benefits, and employees pay a further 10% to 14% averaging 13%. Monaco has never levied income tax on individuals, and foreigners are thus able to use it as a tax haven. From their own country's taxes, because as an independent country, Monaco is not obligated to pay taxes to other countries. The absence of a personal income tax in the principality has attracted to it a considerable number of wealthy tax refugee residents from European countries who derive the majority of their income from activity outside Monaco. Celebrities such as Formula One drivers attract most of the attention, but the vast majority of them are lesser known business people. However, due to a bilateral treaty with France, French citizens are still required to pay applicable income and wealth taxes to the French state even if they are resident in Monaco, and the principality also actively discourages the registration of foreign corporations, charging a 33% corporation tax on profits unless it can be shown that at least three quarters of the turnover has been generated within its borders. Unlike classic tax havens, it does not offer offshore financial services. In 1998, the Center for Tax Policy and Administration, part of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development (OECD), issued a first report on the consequences of the financial systems of known tax havens. Monaco did not appear in the list of these territories until 2004, when the OECD became indignant regarding the Monegasque situation and denounced it in a report, as well as Andorra, Liechtenstein, Liberia, and the Marshall Islands, underlining its lack of cooperation regarding financial information disclosure and availability. However, Monaco went on to overcome the objections of the OECD and was thus removed from its grey list of uncooperative jurisdictions. In 2009 it went a step farther and secured a place on its white list after signing 12 information exchange treaties with other jurisdictions in 2000 the financial action task force on money laundering FATF stated the anti money laundering system in monaco is comprehensive however difficulties have been encountered with monaco by countries in international investigations on serious crimes that appear to be linked also with tax matters in addition, the FIU of Monaco suffers a great lack of adequate resources. The authorities of Monaco have stated that they will provide additional resources to SICCFIN. 
Also in 2000, a report by the French parliamentarians Arnaud Montebourg and Vincent Payon stated that Monaco had relaxed policies with respect to money laundering, including within its casino, and that the government of Monaco had been placing political pressure on the judiciary, so that alleged crimes were not being properly investigated. In its Progress Report of 2005, the International Monetary Fund IMF identified Monaco, along with 36 other territories, as a tax haven, but in its FATF report of the same year it took a positive view of Monaco's measures against money laundering. The Council of Europe also decided to issue reports naming tax havens. 22 territories, including Monaco, were thus evaluated between 1998 and 2000 on a first round. Monaco was the only territory that refused to perform the second round, between 2001 and 2003, whereas the 21 other territories had planned implementing the third and final round, planned between 2005 and 2007. Numismatics <inaudible> 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 Of interest to numismatists, in Monaco the euro was introduced in 2002, having been preceded by the Monégasque franc. In preparation for this date, the minting of the new euro coins started as early as 2001. Like Belgium, Finland, France, the Netherlands, and Spain, Monaco decided to put the minting date on its coins. This is why the first euro coins from Monaco have the year 2001 on them, instead of 2002, like the other countries of the eurozone that decided to put the year of first circulation 2002 on their coins. Three different designs were selected for the Monégasque coins. However, in 2006, the design was changed after the death of ruling Prince Rainier to have the effigy of Prince Albert. Monaco also mints collector's coins, with face value ranging from 5 euros to 100 euros. These coins are a legacy of an old national practice of minting silver and gold commemorative coins. Unlike normal issues, these coins are not legal tender in all the Eurozone. The same practice concerning commemorative coins is exercised by all Eurozone countries. Population Topic. Demographics Monaco's total population was 38,400 in 2015. Monaco's population is unusual in that the native Monégasques are a minority in their own country. The largest group are French nationals at 28.4%, followed by Monégasque 21.6%, Italian 18.7%, British 7.5%, Belgian 2.8%, German 2.5%, Swiss 2.5%, and US nationals 1.2%. Citizens of Monaco, whether born in the country or naturalized, are called Monégasque. Monaco has the world's highest life expectancy at nearly 90 years. Topic: <inaudible> Language. <inaudible> the official language of Monaco is French, while Italian is spoken by the principality's sizable community from Italy. Thus, French and Italian supplants Monégasque, the vernacular language of the Monégasques, which is not recognized as an official language. English is used by American, British, Anglo Canadian, and Irish residents. The Grimaldi, princes of Monaco, have Ligurian origin, thus, the traditional national language is Monégasque, a variety of Ligurian, now spoken by only a minority of residents and is a common second language by many native residents. In Monaco-ville, street signs are printed in both French and Monégasque. Topic: Religion. Topic: Catholic Church. The official religion is the Catholic Church, with freedom of other religions guaranteed by the Constitution. There are five Catholic parish churches in Monaco and one cathedral, which is the seat of the Archbishop of Monaco. The diocese, which has existed since the mid-19th century, was raised to a non-metropolitan archbishopric in 1981 as the Archdiocese of Monaco and remains exempt i.e. immediately subject to the Holy See. The patron saint is Saint Devota. Christians comprise a total of 83.2% of Monaco's population. Protestantism 
According to Monaco 2012 International Religious Freedom Report, Protestants are the second largest group after Roman Catholics. There are various evangelical Protestant communities that gather periodically. The report states that there are two Protestant churches, including the local Anglican Church and a Reformed Church. <laughs> Anglicanism There is one Anglican Church Street. Paul's Church, located in the Avenue de Grande Bretagne in Monte Carlo. In 2007 this had a formal membership of 135 Anglicans resident in the Principality, but was also serving a considerably larger number of Anglicans temporarily in the country, mostly as tourists. The church site also accommodates an English-language library of over 3,000 books. The church is part of the Anglican Diocese in Europe. <laughs> Greek Orthodoxy. Monaco's 2012 International Religious Freedom Report states that there is one Greek Orthodox Church in Monaco. Judaism The Association Culturelle Israelite de Monaco founded in 1948 is a converted house containing a synagogue, a community Hebrew school, and a kosher food shop, located in Monte Carlo. The community mainly consists of retirees from Britain 40% and North Africa. Two-thirds of the Jewish population is Sephardic, mainly from North Africa, while the other third is Ashkenazi. Islam The Muslim population of Monaco consists of about 280 people, most of whom are exclusively residents, not citizens. The majority of the Muslim population of Monaco are Arabs, though there are smaller Turkish minorities as well. Monaco does not have any official mosques. There is a Muslim mosque in nearby Beausoleil, France, within easy walking distance of Monaco. <laughs> Sports <laughs> Formula One. Since 1929, the Monaco Grand Prix has been held annually in the streets of Monaco. It is widely considered to be one of the most prestigious automobile races in the world. The erection of the Circuit de Monaco takes six weeks to complete and the removal after the race takes another three weeks. The circuit is incredibly narrow and tight and its tunnel, tight corners and many elevation changes make it perhaps the most demanding Formula One track. Driver Nelson Piquet compared driving the circuit to Riding a bicycle around your living room. Despite the challenging nature of the course, it has only had one fatality Lorenzo Bandini, who crashed, burned, and died three days later from his injuries in 1967. Two other drivers had lucky escapes after they crashed into the harbor, the most famous being Alberto Ascari in the 1955 Monaco Grand Prix and Paul Hawkins during the 1965 race. Topic: Monte Carlo Rally. Since 1911, part of the Monte Carlo Rally has been held in the Principality, originally held at the behest of Prince Albert I. Like the Grand Prix, the rally is organized by Automobile Club de Monaco. It has long been considered to be one of the toughest and most prestigious events in rallying, and from 1973 to 2008 was the opening round of the World Rally Championship (WRC). From 2009 until 2011, the rally served as the opening round of the Intercontinental Rally Challenge. The rally returned to the WRC calendar in 2012 and has been held annually since. Due to Monaco's limited size, all but the ending of the rally is held on French territory. <laughs> Football Monaco hosts two major football teams in the Principality, the Men's Football Club, as Monaco FC, and the Women's Football Club, OS Monaco. As Monaco plays at the Stade Louis II and competes in Ligue 1 the first division of French football. 
The club is historically one of the most successful clubs in the French league, having won Ligue 1 eight times, most recently in 2016-17, and competed at the top level for all but six seasons since 1953. The club reached the 2004 UEFA Champions League final, with a team that included Dado Piarzo, Fernando Morientes, Jérôme Rothen, Akis Zikos and Ludovic Juli, but lost 3-0 to Portuguese team FC Porto. Many international stars have played for the club, such as French World Cup winners Thierry Henry, Fabien Barthez, David Trezeguet, and Kylian Mbappé. The Stade Louis II also played host to the annual UEFA Super Cup 1998 between the winners of the UEFA Champions League and the UEFA Europa League. The women's team, OS Monaco, competes in the women's French football league system. The club currently plays in the local regional league, deep down in the league system. It once played in the Division I Feminine, in the 1994-95 season, but was quickly relegated. Current France women's national football team goalkeeper Sarah Bouhadi had a short stint at the club before going to the INF Clairefontaine Academy. The Monaco national football team represents the nation in association football and is controlled by the Monégasque Football Federation, the governing body for football in Monaco. However, Monaco is one of only three sovereign states in Europe along with the United Kingdom and Vatican City that is not a member of UEFA and so does not take part in any UEFA European Football Championship or FIFA World Cup competitions. The team plays its home matches in the Stade Louis II. Rugby <inaudible> 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 Monaco's national rugby team, as of October 2013, is 91st in the International Rugby Board rankings. Other sports The Monte Carlo Masters is held annually in neighbouring Requebrun Cap Martin, France, as a professional tournament for men as part of tennis's ATP Masters series. The tournament has been held since 1897. Golf's Monte Carlo Open was also held at the Monte Carlo Golf Club at Mont Aigle in France between 1984 and 1992. Monaco has also competed in the Olympic Games, although, no athlete from Monaco has ever won an Olympic medal. The 2009 Tour de France, the world's premier cycle race, started from Monaco with a 15-kilometre closed-circuit individual time trial starting and finishing there on the first day, and the 182-kilometre second leg starting there on the following day and ending in Brignoles, France. Monaco also staged part of the Global Champions Tour international show jumping. Acknowledged as the most glamorous of the series, Monaco will be hosting the world's most celebrated riders, including Monaco's own Charlotte Casaraghi, in a setting facing out over the world's most beautiful yachts, and framed by the Port Hercules and Prince's Palace. In 2009, the Monaco stage of the Global Champions Tour took place between 25–27 June. The Monaco Marathon is the only marathon in the world to pass through three separate countries, those of Monaco, France and Italy, before the finish at the Stade Louis II. The Monaco Ironman 70.3 Triathlon Race is an annual event with over 1,000 athletes competing and attracts top professional athletes from around the world. The race includes a 1.9 km mile swim, 90 km 56 mile bike ride and 21.1 km .1 mile run. Since 1993, the headquarters of the International Association of Athletics Federations, the world governing body of athletics, is located in Monaco. An IAAF Diamond League meet is annually held at Stade Louis II, a municipal sports complex. The Rainier Three Nautical Stadium in the Port Hercules district consists of a heated saltwater Olympic size swimming pool, diving boards, and a slide. The pool is converted into an ice rink from December to March. From 10 to 12 July 2014, Monaco inaugurated the Solar One Monte Carlo Cup, a series of ocean races exclusively for solar powered boats. Culture Music Monaco has an opera house, a symphony orchestra and a classical ballet company. Topic: 
Visual arts Monaco has a National Museum of Contemporary Visual Art at the new National Museum of Monaco. The country also has numerous works of public art, statues, museums, and memorials see List of Public Art in Monaco. Museums in Monaco Monaco Top Cars Collection Napoleon Museum Monaco Oceanographic Museum Topic Events Festivals and Shows The Principality of Monaco hosts major international events such as International Circus Festival of Monte Carlo Mondial du Théâtre Monte Carlo Television Festival Topic Education Topic Primary and Secondary Schools Monaco has ten state-operated schools, including, seven nursery and primary schools, one secondary school, College Charles III, one lycée that provides general and technological training, Lycée Albert I-Er, and one lycée that provides vocational and hotel training, Lycée Technique et Hotelier de Monte Carlo. There are also two grant-aided denominational private schools, Institution François d'Assis Nicolas Barré and École des Sœurs Dominicaines, and one international school, the International School of Monaco, founded in 1994. <laughs> <laughs> Colleges and universities There is one university located in Monaco, namely the International University of Monaco IUM, an English-language school specializing in business education and operated by the Institut des Hautes Etudes Économiques et Commerciales group of schools. Flag The flag of Monaco is one of the world's oldest national flag designs. The flag of Monaco, which Monaco adopted in April 4, 1881, is almost identical to the flag of Indonesia adopted by Indonesia in August 17, 1945 except for the ratio of height to width. Transport The Monaco Monte Carlo station is served by the SNCF, the French national rail system. The Monaco Heliport provides helicopter service to the closest airport, Côte d'Azur Airport in Nice, France. The Monaco Bus Company CAM covers all the tourist attractions, museums, exotic garden, business centers, and the casino or the Louis II Stadium. Relations with other countries Monaco is so old that it has outlived many of the nations and institutions that it has had relations with. The Crown of Aragon and Republic of Genoa became a part of other countries, as did the Kingdom of Sardinia. Honoré II, Prince of Monaco secured recognition of his independent sovereignty from Spain in 1633, and then from Louis XIII of France by the Treaty of Peronne Monaco made a special agreement with France in 1963 in which French customs laws apply in Monaco and its territorial waters. Monaco uses the euro but is not a member of the European Union. Monaco shares a 6-kilometre border with France but also has about 2-kilometre of coastline with the Mediterranean Sea. Two important agreements that support Monaco's independence from France include the franco monegasque Treaty of 1861 and the French Treaty of 1918 see also Kingdom of Sardinia. The United States CIA Factbook records 1419 as the year of Monaco's independence. France-Monaco relations Monaco-United States relations Monaco-Russia relations There are two embassies in Monaco, those of France and Italy. There are about another 30 or so consulates. 
By the 21st century Monaco maintained embassies in Belgium Brussels, France Paris, Germany Berlin, the Vatican, Italy Rome, Spain Madrid, Switzerland Bern, United Kingdom London, and the United States Washington. .In the year 2000 nearly two-thirds of the residents of Monaco were foreigners in 2015 the immigrant population was estimated at 60% however, it is reported to be difficult to gain citizenship in Monaco, or at least in relative number there is not many people who do so. In 2015 an immigration rate of about 4 people per 1,000 was noted, which works out to something like 100–150 people a year. The population of Monaco went from 35,000 in 2008 to 36,000 in 2013, and of that about 20% were native Monegasque see also Nationality Law of Monaco. A recurring issue Monaco encounters with other countries is the attempt by foreign nationals to use Monaco to avoid paying taxes in their own country. Monaco actually collects a number of taxes including a 20% VAT and 33% on companies unless they make over 75% of their income inside Monaco. Monaco does not allow dual citizenship, but does have multiple paths to citizenship including by declaration and naturalization. In many cases the key issue for obtaining citizenship, rather than attaining residency in Monaco, is the person's ties to their departure country. For example, French citizens must still pay taxes to France even if they live full-time in Monaco unless they resided in the country before 1962 for at least five years. In the early 1960s there was some tension between France and Monaco over taxation, there are no border formalities entering or leaving to France. For visitors a souvenir passport stamp is available on request at Monaco's tourist office. This is located on the far side of the gardens that face the casino. See also Outline of Monaco List of sovereign states and dependent territories by population density Foreign relations of Monaco List of rulers of Monaco Japanese Garden, Monaco Telecommunications in Monaco Microstates and the European Union List of diplomatic missions in Monaco List of diplomatic missions of Monaco Monaco-European Union relations Notes <laughs>